What's good? Welcome to Ari Roars. This is Ari speaking. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be talking about some tips to keep up with fashion trends and current fashion. This is something that I used to struggle with a lot, but I realized that all it took was a little bit of intentionality. So here I'm going to be sharing these tips of intentionality that you can apply and easily be able to keep up with what's going on in fashion. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, then just keep on watching. Haters imitators and completers, men they all the same. Hard to win the match when being players of a lawless game. Trying to shake the ground so they can't help except to call my name. So first and foremost is social media. Probably the most obvious, maybe not, but social media is like really a go-to when it comes to trends because everything is trending on social media, right? So it's pretty straightforward but i want to dive a little bit deeper into what you should do with social media for one you're just going to follow some people some influencers stylists designers brands you know fashion brands follow them on instagram i actually created a separate instagram for this back when i was a stylist but i just stopped paying that much attention to it but it was really helpful to where like if I decided I want to find out what's going on in fashion today, I could just go to this account and I was following like hundreds of people, celebrities, influencers, and brands and whatnot. It was just really convenient to have an entire feed of hundreds of different people who were just sharing photos that could bring inspiration for fashion or pique my interest on what's going on in fashion. Now, obviously you don't have to create a separate account, but you can follow these accounts or just look them up. YouTube is a really, really good resource because you find a lot of people like me, but not me, <laughs> who are posting about fashion trends every season. Now next is Pinterest. And this is kind of straightforward as well. You're just searching on Pinterest, um, trendy outfits or trendy fits. And especially with Pinterest, it's helpful to see things that interest you and just create a board of it. And once you get a solid Pinterest board of like, say 50 or so posts, you can just review it and look at what you see is common and repeating. And let there be not only those standout outfits because those are usually leading in fashion and pushing us forward pioneering fashion, but there are also just like common everyday outfits that you might regularly see but still look nice. And you can start to analyze the details of these outfits, not just the wearing jeans, but more so these are low rise jeans, these are high rise jeans or these are slim cut jeans, these are wide leg, these are boot cut, whatever. Even the wash and the tone of it, not just blue jeans, but like medium wash blue jeans, you know? Really try to look deeply into what you're seeing and try to find any trends there. Trends. <laughs> it's funny because I use the word trends, meaning it differently than with fashion, but it actually means exactly <laughs> what trends means. And also I'm a big proponent for Reddit. The subreddits on there, I've never realized until like the past few months that Reddit is a really good resource for like interacting with other fashion people. There are so many different fashion boards. You can literally just go on the subreddit that says fashion <laughs> and there's a lot of people posting on there and you can go on various different ones. Just like search random stuff <laughs> on Reddit and see if you can find a board that suits you like styling tips for women and stuff like that. So not only would you be able to see what other people are posting, what other people are wearing, but you'll also have the opportunity to post your own questions and posts and get feedback on your own outfits. So now if you're not a big social media person, you might be like, okay, what else? What else girl? And I got you. The one big one is fashion shows. Like designers are the people who are making the clothes that people are wearing. So if these are the clothes that are being made then these are the clothes that are being bought this season. Now, where can you find these fashion shows? Some you can find on YouTube, just literally search like the brand name, runway show or fashion show and the season name and a video may come up. Or you can go on this wonderful Vogue runway app. I would recommend it to anyone. They have the most pristine photos. I mean, it's like 10K quality. And you can just like zoom in and they have like so many different brands on there and they give you recommendations. There's a lot of information available to you on the Vogue Runway app. So that's something that I like to do when I really wanna deep dive. It's almost like reading the dictionary in a sense because it's just all there. But if you really just want to like study, then that's a good place to go. Then you can also dive into some fashion bloggers and some 
publications online, like for example, Vogue.com or Glamour.com. Why do I keep saying .com? Like y'all pretty much know that already. Now people are really sleeping on the hard physical copy magazines, but they're so good to have. There's a lot of good information there. It's very curated and they have all these photo shoot photos in the magazines and they're very intentional with the photos they choose there. They're very intentional with the styling that's done in the cover shoots and everything. So I think it would be really helpful for anyone to actually look through physical magazines and observe the photos that are used in there. And if all else fails, observation is going to get you there, period. Just observing the people around you. You can observe the people that you see in your community and just look at what are people wearing in general. A lot of people don't take fashion that seriously, so it does a little bit depend on where you're at and like, you know, what types of people you're surrounded by. But nonetheless, trends simply means what's happening a lot now. So you can see trends even in people who don't prioritize fashion. It's just that a lot of the time when we talk about trends, we're talking about the latest trends the newest trends for this season. So what I would recommend is when you're looking at people and like people watching or people outfit watching, <laughs> you take note of what you see all the time and what stands out to you. Like I see people wearing this specific type of jacket really often or maybe this brand a lot or this color a lot. And then it's like, whoa, randomly I see this person wearing this thing. Now that could be someone who's like really stylistically inclined and has their like very firm personal style or it could be someone who is more so trying to drive fashion forward and staying ahead on the trends and wearing things that they know are on trend right now. Another thing you can do is to look at celebrities not only in their personal lives like what they're wearing on the runway or what they're posting on social media but also celebrities in TV shows. This is a really big one and I hear people talk about this a lot because what they put on people in TV shows that are based in contemporary time, like these outfits are supposed to be what people would wear today in real time. And with that, you'll have a little bit of a hint as to what the trends are right now. And last but absolutely not least, one of my favorites is shopping or rather browsing in stores. You can do this online as well, but it doesn't really have the same effect and enjoyment as it does when you actually physically go in the store. I remember one time, it was 2019 or 2020, um, I was working at Macy's and this man came in and he was like, there are no brown sweaters in here. Like I can't find brown sweaters anywhere in any store. And I was like, hmm, that's really interesting. I haven't really seen brown either. And within like two years or so, brown was like really, really on trend. And now there's brown everywhere. <laughs> And I just find that really interesting because at the time it was kind of obvious, yeah, brown is not on trend, but years later he'd be like, okay, now you want to come up with the brown stuff. That's a good thing about trends. I know I'm rambling a little bit here, but <laughs> that's one of the best thing about trends is that whatever you want, you can have a perfect time to find it in a variety of ways, colors, styles, whatever, when it's on trend. So if you have a desire for your personal style and your wardrobe, just wait until it's on trend and there it is, multiple options. But yeah, as I was saying, you wanna browse for things that you're looking for and you wanna browse just in general, just to see what's going on, just to see what the stores are selling. Notice the difference between different stores and what different types of stores are selling. For example, in Urban Outfitters versus Neiman Marcus versus Forever 21 versus Claire's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just naming multiple stores I've seen in the mall near me. But yeah, with all these tips and all these things in the back of your mind at all times, you will be able to pick up on all of the trends or many of the trends that are happening at any given time. So that's it. That's all I got for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was beneficial to you. If you liked it, then like it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey.